Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesigninghammy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put a fillet or set of fillets over in organic form. Now, this is the form in question, and as you can see, there is a scan file, um, as you can see over here. Now, it's kind of rough, but I think this will do. Um, so, uh, basically, the main uh, fillets are these ones over here that's running across, and this one, and this one. So let's go ahead and get started. Now these are the set of surfaces that, that are uh, that the viewer provided. So I'm going to be just utilizing those, but I am going to make a couple of modifications. And the reason for that is because of these primary surfaces over here, I think they're supposed to be duplicates and I would prefer to just keep them as one. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Actually, you know what, uh, before I do that, let's just copy and paste so that I do have a set if I need to go back to them. So I'm just going to say copy, paste over here, and I'm just going to say original like this, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm just going to delete this one, and I think these are also supposed to be duplicates, so I'm just going to get rid of one like this, and I'm just going to extend those. So first of all, let me just untrim like this, and make sure they're all untrimmed basically to their uh, building blocks. I'm just going to extend this one and I'm going to extend this one over here. And yeah, I think that's good. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and intersect this one over here so that I can trim it. So I'm just going to extend over here, extend this one, extend that one. And I'm going to extend this one over here. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and extend this one too. Now, um, this one over here, I am going to make a little bit of modification because if you look at this one over here, I think there is a little bit of curvature going on over here. But if you look at the bone line on this one, actually, let me just make it a little, a little reflective. I think it's supposed to be a little bit more straight. And to be honest, if it's an angle like this, what happens is if it's really round, if it's uh, if it has a section like this, if I were to put a fillet between these two, so let me, well, I think 50 is, oh, actually, you know what, I should probably make it a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to do an edge line over here, and I'm also going to do an edge line over here, although I don't think the edges really match. But what happens is it's going to get a really sharp angle like this, and if I make it a little bit bigger, so let's say maybe 100, and if I do this uh, connect ends, well, I mean, the CV structure could use a little bit of improvement, but as you can see, it curls like this. Um, so it's not exactly ideal. And for these kind of exercises, you want to make the patches as easy as possible because um, the task of putting the fillets on them is already very difficult. So you're just making the assignment a little bit more difficult than needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to first of all undo this one and I'm going to make a little bit of adjustment on the CVs. Actually, you know what? Before that, uh, I did forget something. Now, if you look at this one, uh, if you look at this surface over here, there's a little bit of in and out. I would prefer just to keep it uh, very simple. So maybe just degree two. Oh, not that way, but this way. So that it's, uh, there's no um, reverse in the surface. Um, so I think that's good. And now I'm also going to make a little modification on this one too. Now, I do like using degree two because, uh, well, you keep things simple while still uh, having crown. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push this in a little bit and push this out a little bit also so that I have a little balance. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to do a, well, transform CV. I'm going to say uh, whole selection. I'm going to say mouse institute of 50. I'm going to do NUV over here. I'm just going to push this one in like this. As you can see, the theoretical becomes a little bit straighter. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, but I'm just going to push it out a little bit because, well, you still want to, oh, well, first of all, I want to keep this fillet and this fillet as far as possible uh, uh, while still retaining somewhat uh, close uh, proximity to the scan. So because I pushed this in, I'm just going to push it out. I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and extend it and see how that does. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and trim all of these surfaces. Now, you don't want to make it flat because, well, all surfaces should have a little bit of crown, but if possible, you want to, well, make sure the theoretical line is uh, straight as, uh, as much as possible as well. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the construction history on all of these, and I'm just going to delete the fillets over here. Let's see, let's just 
get a quick measurement. So this one is about 82. Okay, so that's good. I just need a measurement so that I keep everything somewhat similar. I'm just going to measure this one over here. Looks like it's about 50. All right, so I'm just going to delete this one and this one over here as well. Okay, so I think the primaries are not too bad. So let's go ahead and trim all of these. So I'm just going to go ahead and oh, actually, you know what, delete the CUS there. And let's go ahead and extend this one like this, trim that one. And let's pick this one. Oh, let's pick this one over here. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Well, that's good. And I'm going to intersect over here and here like this. So now let's go ahead and just trim this. Actually, uh, looks like there is a little bit of gap. That's probably because I change a CV to two. So let's go ahead and re-intersect these ones over here. So I'm just going to intersect this one and that one. And now let's just go ahead and trim it again. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and trim this one. I'm going to trim that one. Oh, okay, so it looks like it's a little bit long over here. That's fine. I'm just going to shorten it a little bit so that the length matches. Okay, so I think that's good. And I'll probably, you know what, let's cut it over here. Now, I know the shape over here isn't exactly mastered, but that's okay because I'm just trying to demonstrate this one. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a curve over here. I'm going to snap it here, and I'm just going to snap it somewhere over here like that. And I'll just project it from Y because this part isn't exactly part of the deliverable. Okay, so now that's done, let's go ahead and trim it. And I'm going to trim this one over here. And I'm going to trim this one over here and let's get rid of the COS. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. A surface poking out nicely against the scan. So now let's go ahead and delete the construction history over here. All right, so for the fillet over here, I believe the dimension that this person used was about 80. So I'm just going to grab these ones. Actually, you know what? Because it's going through the center, let's just trim it. So I don't have to worry about the other side. So I'm just going to grab this one, grab a curl like this, snapped to the grid, and I'm just going to project from view like that. And I'm just going to trim this one, trim that one. All right, so that's good. All right, because the primary surfaces are built across the center, you don't really need to worry about the fillets itself. The fillets, you can probably just build it because the primary surface is what really dictates the curvature comb. So I think that looks, uh, this looks pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a fillet here. Uh, I believe this was about 80, so I think that's good over here. And what I'm going to do over here is uh, also 80, but let's just go ahead and say connect. I might make it just a little bit bigger, but you gotta be a little bit careful. The bigger it is, the more difficult it is going to be in order to uh, put a fillet over here. So you know what, uh, maybe I'll just keep it like this. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, two different versions, um, but before I do that, let me just trim this uh, back. So I'm just going to use an insert over here. I'm just going to trim it back like this. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete the construction history over here, and I'm just going to put a fill in. So I believe the size that he used was 50, so I'm just going to grab this one, these ones over here. So now that these fillets are established, and all you have to do is just run the fillet along like this. Now, of course, there are problems. Um, if you can see over here, Right now, there's multi-spans, uh, multi but it does get the job done. So let's just uh, do a quick check. So if I were to uh, do a surface continue over here. Okay, so it looks like that's uh, curvature over here, curvature over here. And at least uh, these ones should, should be curvature. This one looks like it is tangent. And well, it looks like that one's tangent too. Now, if you ever run across, I, I, I'm probably going to show you guys in two different ways, but let's just go with the basic one. So um, obviously this is the easier one and let's just uh, give it a try with the Bezier, see if it improves anything. Actually, I think it's a little bit better. Of course, I don't like how it's split, but this fillet over here is definitely a little bit cleaner, although it does split into two pieces. Of course, you can try to do um, edge line uh, in the middle um, but it looks like um, 
well, the result's not that great. So I think I'm just going to leave it at default. All right, uh, I think I'm just going to switch it back just because it's multiple pieces. Well, that's a point of Bezier, but I think it's a little bit too much. So let's see if I can at least get the continuity. Um, I'm not going to shoot for curvature though, because these kind of fillets on fillet uh, situation, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but let's uh, at least try to get tangency uh, over here. So I'm going to just uh, turn the continuity on over here and let's go ahead and align this one. I'm going to say tangent over here like this. Okay, so it looks like I got tangent at least. And let's see if I can get tangency over here too. Now, when you're aligning these ones, you want to align this piece to the fillets on either side because this is technically on top of a fillet. So essentially, it becomes a, um, how would you call it? It becomes a tertiary surface. So you just want to align these ones over here. Okay, so I was able to get tangency. Now the number of spans do help. Um, so let's see if I can get tangency over here too. Okay, so I, I didn't break any of the cur um, continue over on either side. Although it is a little bit less, uh, well, basically I broke curvature, but at least it's tangent. So I would say it's good enough. So let's just go ahead and delete the construction history and see how the highlight, uh, highlight does. Now, Highlight, on the other hand, could use a little bit of uh, work. As you can see, because I just forced tangency on there, I'm pretty sure the CV structure is not exactly desired, uh, desirable. But, well, for a rough surface, this does get the job done. So, uh, that's it. I'm going to show you guys a little bit uh, better. Uh, I should say a little bit more complicated, but uh, I'm going to show you guys another method, hopefully, that uh, gets rid of some of these kinks over here. So I'm going to be showing next, but for this one, let's end it here. All right, so that is it for part one. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to show you guys a little bit different method to approach this corner. All right, thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn more? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you will find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.